Uh, first off, thank you all for being here today. So today's announcement did not come as a surprise to me, but I know many in my city and probably throughout the nation were taken aback to learn that such an idea is being formally proposed. So I want to be crystal clear. The Rays cannot explore playing any Major League Baseball games in Montreal, or anywhere else for that matter, prior to 2028 without reaching a formal memorandum of understanding with the city of St. Petersburg. And ultimately, such a decision is up to me. And I have no intention of bringing this idea to our city council to consider. In fact, I believe this is getting a bit silly. Now, I, I have great respect for Stu Sternberg and for his leadership team. I love the product that they put on the field. I love how they play the game. But after 12 years of indecision, including three years of exploring its options throughout the Tampa Bay region, like many in Tampa Bay, I am tired of the games that are being played related to getting a new stadium built. The residents of St. Pete, the Tampa Bay area, the fans of the team, each of you in the media, we all deserve better and should not take this too seriously. This is just the latest chapter in the book of negotiations. And speaking of negotiations, let me again be crystal clear about this. I am ready to sit down with the team to have serious discussions about the financing of a stadium with a full-time team here in St. Petersburg. I'm also ready to begin the process of redeveloping the Tropicana Field site with or without plans for a new stadium at the end of this summer. And I have asked the Rays to let me know, one way or another, what their future and final plans are. Now, Major League Baseball may have given the approval for exploration of this concept, but for us in St. Pete, sharing this team with Montreal is not an option on the table. And finally, the Rays have stated for a long time their desire to refrain from stadium negotiations which would distract from the play on the field. And I regret that that no longer seems to be the case, especially during this truly exciting season in which these guys are putting a great product on the field. So with that, I will take a few of your easy questions. Have you had any contact at all with uh, Steinberg or any of the owners? I you said it wasn't a surprise to you. What isn't a surprise? Is it the latest hardball tactic or that they're splitting the season between or wanting to? So, um, like uh, some people, I, I first heard about this concept probably a little over a year ago when a paper in Montreal uh, reported about it. Uh, the, at that point in time, I said, I, I, I think that's a, an idea that doesn't merit discussion, and the Rays didn't seem to um, talk about it as meriting any further discussion. Uh, and then uh, sometime after the decision was made not to relocate to uh, or pursue relocation to, to Ybor City. Um, uh, Stu uh, first broached the subject uh, of a shared season with me. Um, after, as I do with any issue, giving it consideration, uh, talking to my, my team and some experts uh, who I, uh, whose opinions I value, ultimately I shared with them that that was not an issue that or a, a concept that uh, I thought merited further discussion. Mayor, do you believe your perspective that you have done enough to keep this team not only in the region but in St. Pete? You know, and certainly I've done more to try and keep them in the region, I think, than, than anyone has. Um, you know, they, they had that three-year period in which to, to look, and, and during that period of time, um, our Baseball Forever put together, I thought, a very compelling um, packet that we provided to them, explaining why we believe this area is the best. You know, if we're talking about the future of the team, let's talk about the future of this team in this region. Uh, and if you're talking about the future, you can't keep looking at the past or even the present. You have to look at the future. And all you have to do is look at the changes that are happening in St. Petersburg, the growth that is happening, the economic development that is occurring in this city, along with the transportation changes that are on the books that will impact the ability of people to get from Hillsborough County and from Pasco County here uh, I think the future is rosy. I'm bullish on it. Are you concerned that this, apparently you're saying that you would, he'd at least floated this to you. Are you concerned that this made its way into the press 
even with your clear statement that you would not be entertaining it? Well, certainly it's, it's very disappointing uh, because I was very clear um, with, with uh, the ownership group and, and, and leadership of the team. Um, you know, as I, as I mentioned, when, when, when you start looking at um, cities around the country who have had issues related to stadiums, uh, there is a playbook. And uh, as I mentioned in my comments, this is part of the game. Um, ultimately, at some point, you know, and it should be sooner rather than later, we need an end to the game. Let's, let's sit down and talk about, seriously, the future of the franchise. And if it's going to be here, let's, let's have those discussions. Why do you think they haven't started talking to you? I, I can't answer that. That's, that's up for them. But what I've made very also, also very clear to them is, you know, from a, from a, a stadium financing, we are prepared to be partners. Uh, partners. Um, and that th there are some funds that are available currently that aren't going to be there forever, um, you know, through our t uh, the TDC, the Tourist Development Tax Dollars. And uh, if this continues on without uh, a clear decision one way or the other, uh, the ability to finance could become significantly more difficult. Wait, Mayor, this Mr. Back. says he's, he's committed to staying in the Tampa Bay region. Do you believe that now? Um, certainly this raises, you know, th th this, putting this on the table is just, I, I believe, uh, you know, um, part of the game, but it's, you know, the game some shit needs to end. We've been, it's been 12 years. Let's, let's get to it. Let's make a decision. What fan out there would believe if this actually happened, that if you have one foot out the door, that you're not ultimately going to leave? Like, yeah. who would think this is going to be a long-term viable solution? Well, I think you make a compelling argument. Um, you know, as, as I have said uh, to the team uh, on a number of occasions, um, you know, it's hard to ask fans, it's hard to ask businesses to be all in and fully commit to the team when the team hasn't fully committed to us. Make a decision. If you're going to stay here, I suspect, uh, especially if we negotiate and, and have a deal in place to build a new stadium, uh, I suspect you see a change. I suspect you see fans, more fans coming to the game. I suspect you see more corporate support stepping up on both sides of the bay. Um, but without that certainty, after 12 years, I think there's a certain amount of, of uh, fatigue that has set in. And it's not unreasonable. Mayor, you say that you are not willing to bring this before city council as an option. Is there any way, and perhaps maybe one of the council members wants to weigh in on this, is there any way that they can go over your head? Um, typically what happens is, uh, under our charter, uh, mayor negotiates agreements. Those agreements have to be approved by city council. Mayor has to sign those agreements. Um, so it doesn't work if there's no signature. Um, and um, I think we're, we're unified on this issue. Um, you know, and it's, it's, again, it's, it's time for us to get serious and let's talk about do, is, is the long-term future of the team here in St. Pete, and if so, let's sit down and talk about what a new stadium would look like and how it gets paid for. You talked about, you think this is just taken away from the fans and stuff, what the guys are doing on the field this year, just, you know, it's more new than as opposed to what they're doing this year, it's really taken away from the season they're having? Well, it, that, that, that is surprising to me. Um, because they've, they've been very consistent up until this point uh, that they didn't want to have any discussions about the future of the franchise that would distract from what's happening on the field. And, you know, especially this year when what this team is doing on the field, I mean, is, is really something. Um, you know, if you haven't been to a game, you should go because these guys are playing some great baseball. Uh, and it's, you know, it, I think it's a shame because this is no question it's going to distract from, from what they're doing on the field. Is there anything the city's going to do legally to keep them from doing this? Well, you know, my, my certainly, um, as I said, right from the beginning, uh, the use agreement's very clear. Uh, they do not have the right to explore um, a shared season or anywhere else for that matter, whether it's Montreal or anywhere else, um, prior to 2028. So uh, unless, it, it, you know, if, if that's the direction they start to go, then we'll have to have those discussions between our legal teams very quickly. But uh, my hope is that that's not something that happens. Well, this hey, appears to be something that MLB is sanctioning. Have you had any contact with MLB about possibly relocating a team here if the Rays leave? Uh, no, I have not had that, that conversation. This was, 
Um, you know, I thought, it, like I said, I thought it made it very clear my position. So uh, the announcement today came as somewhat of a surprise because uh, I thought it was off the table. But um, you know, hopefully, I've made our position clear. And uh, again, you know, Major League Baseball may give them the right uh, fr from Major League Baseball's perspective to 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 look at this issue, but. That isn't what controls their right. It's the contract that they have, the use agreement they have with the city. Mayor, you've talked about um, hoping for an answer on the trap site by the end of summer. Is this the answer that you were waiting for? No. Um, you know, and, and they have, I think, uh, in the past talked about uh, giving the city a, a decision. To me, this is this is not a decision. This is talking about extending a period of time in which to explore. Um, you know, there is no agreement that permits an extension of time to explore. And so when I hear someone say that uh, we, we uh, are expecting to be able to give you uh, some kind of a decision by summertime, that would be either that, yeah, we want to stay in St. Pete, let's see what we can put together, or, you know, we've ultimately decided this just isn't going to work for us. So you still hoping for an answer by the end of the summer? I still would like to have an answer by the end of the summer. Do you there. think this jeopardizes, uh, I mean, they decide they want to stay and, and they want to split time and uh, after 2028. Um, do you expect that the county would still be interested in, I know this is a county question, but do you anticipate the county would still be interested in funding a new stadium for them if they're going to be here part time? I think it's hard to ask the taxpayers of this community uh, and this county uh, to pay basically the same amount of money uh, or some amount of money uh, for a franchise that isn't here full time, whatever the amount is. Um, you know, that's, I think that's a very difficult thing to ask taxpayers to do. And Lord knows in, in, in the world we live in today, um, you know, taxpayer funded stadiums, um, it's a very different world for, for franchises and major league team owners to approach a community now and ask them to kick in taxpayer dollars and to, to take it a step further and say, and oh, by the way, we're only gonna be there half the year I think is, is, is a stretch. A when, did you find, when did you find out about the, the, the Major League Baseball announcement today? Uh, I received a phone call from, uh, from Stu uh, late the, this afternoon, or late this morning, early this afternoon. So when you say it didn't take you by surprise, it's just that the idea has been floated by some writer in Montreal, um, but you didn't know firmly that the, that the Rays and the league were exploring this until this afternoon. That is correct. While this goes on, is there a message that you provide to fans, you know, during this trying time of figuring out what's next? Well, I think my message to fans would be, um, you know, go to the games for the players uh, because the players deserve um, your attendance. They deserve your support because they're giving you their all every game. Um, whether you like or agree with what ownership is, has said or is doing or is proposing, um, you should go to the game to support the players because, again, uh, I think the players are certainly given 100% at every game. Um, and so that would be my message to the, to the, to the community.